I'm about to have a tantrum. Time for up shopping. Yep. Let's go save the children, shall we? No kiss. No kiss. <laughs> it's not actually that bad. Let's go find some stuff at the Vinny's. It's suction! Yeah, it is. It's been fit poo at the moment, so we're <laughs> gonna try a couple more. We call Savos. The prices have been high. Like high. They want you to, there's a sub address in there, new tag, sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. I'm about to have a Come on, Salvation Army, save us from this shit day. So today has been pretty bad. So I resorted to the couch. Boy, four in the forty. Hmm. Fine. Not really. Things. Not amazing. What do we get? I'll stop you. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my fault. That's an RM. It says as is, but there's nothing wrong with it. That's as is. <laughs> it's as is. Maybe that's its name. Joseph Ribkoff. It's a bit white. Jasmine, what did you get? I got the Dangerfield Corduroy before. Princess Highway. Yeah. Alright, time for a quick haul. We had a pretty rubbish date, really. <laughs> It'll be a really quick haul because um, it sucked. We had yeah. a nice little garage sale sesh and hit up a few op shops. Luckily, we went garage sale because that's pretty much where I've got all my stuff today. So, I'm um, not going to take very long at all. Um, so, let's get started. You, you can go first. I only got four items today. <laughs> I will start with my garage sale item. The only thing I picked up at garage sales was this Kindle Touch. Um, so it has been opened, but it's in amazing condition and it still has the box. And Brad has done some comps to see what has sold on eBay in the past for me. And apparently we can get about $90 out of that. So yeah, I paid 15 Very cool. Yeah. Me? Uh, it wasn't at the same garage sale. I think this is, was this the first one we went to? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, Ted Baker wallet. It's still got its box. It has been used. It's in fairly good condition. I love people keeping their uh, packaging for us. That's I really know. Nice. I actually do keep a lot of my packaging. I think it's the reseller in me because I'm like, <laughs> this would be worth more when I resell it. So I just have a cupboard full of boxes. <laughs> there it is, Ted Baker. Uh, I think I ended up paying like a couple um, other things. I paid like 25. Um, I'm going to shoot for like 50 on it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nice. Um, so I got a whole bunch of PS4 games. So I ended up getting like <laughs> 24. Woo! And these few um, for 90 bucks, um, which is pretty good for PS4 games. These ones here are like not really worth it. So there's probably only $10 each. So I might lock them up and get, you know, maybe 30 out of that lot. But these ones here would comp out anywhere between 20 and I think there was a cup and they were like 50. Yeah. So the brand yeah, okay. new, um, the brand new... I think most of them are 30 plus, in, like including post and then... Yeah, so that was like a 35 or 40 dollar game with... There was a brand new... Yeah, the, one of the Jedi ones or something. One of the Star Wars ones. <laughs> There's so There's many. Lots. There's so many. I think you passed it. <laughs> it's gonna get cut out. <laughs> I think it's that. I think it's that game there. You think so? Yeah. Is one of the newer Star Wars ones. That one's still selling for about fifty-five years. So, um, on two games, I'll get all my money back, and then everything else is pretty much profit. Okay, I thought you were kind of crazy dropping ninety dollars at the first garage sale, but <laughs> that makes sense now. Yes, four games. Maths is good. 
What you get next? Oh, me, me, me. Okay. Oh, um, I got a G Star Raw belt. Lovely. Um, picked that up for four dollars. They weren't sure if the tag said four or nine, but they decided it said four, so I was very happy. I think I can get about forty dollars out of that one. Yes, nice. yeah. that was pretty good because that was at a boutique oh. Vinny. Very. Yeah. Like as in more boutique than normal Vinny. Yeah. It was yeah. Very. <laughs> it was sad. It's the only thing we could buy. <laughs> there was some nice vintage there, but it wasn't priced, and I asked, and then why? Why bother? Yeah. Like, and then we just cried on yeah. And as soon as Kara asked, I knew that she wanted it. So yeah. Add an exactly extra ten on like, top as well. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, oh, can't win them all. Uh, me? Yes. This is garage sale stuff, and you might be thinking, why have you got some ugly green towels? <laughs> <laughs> but um, vintage and especially uh, like seventies towels are actually worth money, uh, especially the ones that are really bright. So like the greens and the oranges, yellows, and things like that. All the colours that you think are like 70s related, they're the ones that are going to sell the best. Uh, especially floral and things like that. Um, so these are like real lime green. Uh, I'm going to shoot for probably maybe like 40 on the pair. Yeah. Uh, maybe even a little bit more. I'll do a little bit more comps on them. Um, because people use these like in their 70s style homes and even I think like one of the keywords I saw was like camper van. Because you know like 70s, van. like 60s, That's 70s so camper good. van. Yeah, so anyway, I paid like it was a couple bucks each because I bought a couple of things and it came to like 10 bucks. So, yeah, I've got to admit, I don't usually look at towels. But... No, no, I don't either. <laughs> but if I see some bright ones, and like these are like really good condition, like yeah. they've never been used nearly. So, yeah, Score. pretty fun. That was from that crazy garage. Yeah, it was, it was like a deceased estate, wasn't in it? A yeah, house and it was just I'm, like, yeah, it was just really come in, every room is full. Yeah, yeah, it was um, a little bit frantic. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it. <laughs> I picked up this Grateful Dead Opoly, so it's like a takeoff of Monopoly, I suppose. <laughs> um, and that's and the, the coolest re- item of the day. Yeah, the only reason I picked it up is because the Grateful Dead t-shirt that Rob was talking about, and I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to get it, even though it's not a bingo item, but it is very cool. So there's only one of these that I can find that you can actually buy in Australia on eBay. That one's new, and that's a hundred and, I think it's $150, $160. Wow, I this have, one's good condition. I have comped this out. That a few have sold in America used for 80 to 90 bucks. So I reckon I should be able to get the same in Australia. I did pay 20 bucks for it, which is quite high for um, I don't know, a board game, but we may give it a quick game tonight and then sell it on, I reckon. <laughs> test it, you know, quality control. Everything in there looks really neat, though. I think everyone yeah. used it once. So. Yeah, that's you can chuck it up for like 100, I reckon. Yeah, so so give it a crack. That's very give cool. It. And that's all I found the whole day. Well, funnily enough, my next thing is. No, you found the game. Yeah, you got games. That's done. That's what you're done. Well, yeah, all right. Get out of the frame. (laughs) In the super um, expensive boutique-y thingies, I also got a pair of nudie jeans. I probably jumped the gun on them because I haven't found nudie in ages and I got excited. Um, And I paid $16 for them. (laughs) But um, I'm expecting to get, yeah, $50 to $55. So that'll be all right because I'll still make about uh, 18 or 20 bucks profit. Quick flip. Yeah. And they're really good conditions. Yeah, I love yeah. nudies. Okay, uh, garage sale item, I got a Pandora bracelet. I never see Pandora on that. And it's got a couple of charms on it. Still in the box, really nice condition. So um, what I might do is, uh, I think there's a little dog charm on there. So I think I'll probably separate that one and sell it separately. I think probably the individual sort of Pandora charms would sell the best. Um, but the rest I'll leave on and I'll just sell it together. Uh, so maybe the bracelet I'll start at like sixty dollars, and I think I paid is it fifteen or something? No, twenty. I paid twenty on it. Uh, no, did I? I can't remember. I think, <laughs> no. I think it was fifteen. It was yeah. I think she said twenty, and I said, "Would well, you take fifteen? So yeah, that sounds bad. Yeah, and if I take the dog charm off, then I'm not hundred percent sure how much I'll get for that, but I'll double check. But about sixty, I reckon. And do you just take it apart to measure the length of it or something so that people know? The size? Yeah, I think you just open it up, and then um, if people will know Pandora, then they should sort of know their size as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, generally, people wouldn't know if they can chuck a thing around their wrist, um, <laughs> that thing, a measuring tape, and then they'll be able to know if we'll fit them or not. That's wicked. That's a pretty good garage sale find. Yeah, that it was best. good. Um, I guess I'm up to my last yeah. item as well. <laughs> a very slow day. Super slow day. We went to one of our favourite cheaper Salvation Army stores. And all I found was this Princess Highway um, corduroy dress. 
I paid four dollars for that, and the solar comps are looking at about forty dollars. Yeah, we don't usually pick up Princess Highway stuff, but corduroy. Cool <laughs> yeah, um, bright prints or corduroy. I always look up just to see yeah. if that's a desirable style. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and like Princess Highway, it, it moves quite quickly. Yeah. Um, sometimes. If you don't pick up the right piece, it can be really slow. But. Yeah, these ones look okay. Okay, so I guess you did the best out of all of us because yeah. you've still got a yeah. few pieces. I Yay. have quite a few little bits and bobs. This um, is incredible. This was from the deceased estate as well. Um, that house we went into, and they just had tons of like china and old um, bits and pieces. Uh, but I don't know. A lot of people may not know what Ansett is, but it used to be an old like an airline. And this is sort of like new old stock, and it's sort of like a vinyl bag. Um, I don't know what this will co go for. I think I'm just going to maybe price it at like 50 something and then see what happens. Um, yeah, Did you is, auction it? I don't know. I don't think there's enough interest like in no answer. No one's searching answer. I think I would, no. I think I'd probably started at that other comp you see at 79 because they took yeah. an offer. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of uh, offers taken on eBay. There was nothing really like concrete and the other ones weren't as nice as this. Mm. This was this has like got crazy um, graphics on it. Really nice, yeah, and in perfect condition. So yeah, we'll see how that Maybe goes. Maybe list tire that you would yeah, accept. Yeah, paid a couple of dollars because I got that with the towels. Uh, also, the guy sort of <laughs> gave me this for free as I was yeah. looking at the door. I was like, oh, how much do you want for this? It's a little Tupperware Mickey Mouse, um, and the comps on these like not this one in particular, but actually. Um, Mickey Mouse Tupperware seems to be like something you should pick up. Oh. Uh, this has got like a little bit of scratches and stuff, so I don't know. I might let's like put it at 25, see what happens. But yeah, it's pretty cute. That's and I nice. got it for free. Free <laughs> throw it in. Yeah, oh, and, and that same garage sale. Uh, I got these mid century little uh, candle holders, and they have like some markings on the bottom, which we just like couldn't work out. <laughs> and we were like, is it Timmer? Timmer? <laughs> It was actually Turner, but <laughs> <laughs> makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna chuck these up for like 30 something and just see what happens. They're quite cute. Yeah, they're very cute. Nice. I can't tell the difference between modern and mid-century, so I was just like, yeah. <laughs> these, I was a little, usually I can tell because just the, the shape and things like that, but this is quite a modern shape. Like it is mid-century modern, so um, they do look slightly modern. But usually if you do look underneath, they should have a mark. Uh, and you should be able to look it up. Yeah. Once everyone's figured out what the mark yeah, is. <laughs> I stole one of the games. <laughs> the, the, the Witcher. Brad, the Witcher. <laughs> um, I, that's my hobby, so um, keeping that. Keep an eye out for Witcher stuff at the moment yeah. because Netflix has made it super popular again. Yeah, it looks like I comped that and it's like about 40 something, including uh, post, yeah. which is, I think has gone up and there's not many available. We saw There's the like gameplay, gameplay um, like the, what are the books called? Play Guide. Play Guide, yeah, we sold The Witcher Play Guide recently and yeah. I think that went for decent money as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and just this random Katy this Perry so prismatic tour bag, but I think this was actually a VIP, uh, obviously they paid for the VIP ticket and I paid $2 for this and it's got all this Katy Perry stuff in there. All the swag. Yeah, so it's got... Uh, the CD and also the ladies' ticket as well. <laughs> um, so there's the CD there and all something Ooh, else. Oh, it's like stickers. Woo Cute, some little stickers. <laughs> Value just I'm not up. like, I don't know, I don't really like Katy Perry very much myself, but um, <laughs> each to their own and just like, yeah, like jazz sets and swag. Um, yeah, maybe like 40 ish. I'll, I'll price it out and see what happens. There's nothing really like it. There's stuff that has sold from this tour, but it's just like other little bits and bobs. So it's so like a yeah. wild card item. Yeah, so two bucks. See what you can get. For two bucks, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, I'll I'd take a just chance. buy a tote bag for two dollars. So just found this and decided she didn't want to. And so I was like, I'm going to have this for myself. Just a bit of Ed Sheeran. Little Ed shirt. I like Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else have I got? Oh my god, is. I've got so much more stuff. So. <laughs> okay, I'm glad <laughs> someone got some stuff. Oh my god. Uh, this is Stuart Weitzman's. Uh, that is an American brand. Uh, they're a bit scuffed on the bottom. And I've got this bloody. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out, to be honest, because it's on that, like, that leather. So I'm not sure. But <laughs> you said you did a little uh, 
dodgy one. Dodgy one. Yeah, there. so I Doc had Martins. Doc Martens that had just a random number 10 on the bottom that wasn't the price or the yeah. size. It just said 10. I could not get it off, so I just made them into neat circles. Yeah. So they both just have a black spot on the so, bottom. <laughs> that could be a thing that I could do. I, I will try, but we'll see. I only paid $6. You know, I might chuck them up if I can't get it off. Um, like $40. Uh, maybe a little bit less, but not too big. I still make my money back, yeah. And the last place we've been to, I've got this beautiful little teapot. I really like the shape. Um, when you're looking out for teapots, uh, look for florals uh, made in England. Maybe avoid things like made in China. Uh, Japan is okay sometimes, but won't uh, move as fast as like China. I mean, sorry, uh, England. England. <laughs> <laughs> this one is lodging. Yeah, and ones you might see often is like Czechoslovakia, but they're not as nice as the ones that are made in England. So um, this one's from Poland, um, a bit of a wild card, but I really it's like gorgeous. how large it is, and it is very, very clean. Usually with teapots, um, I would, if you do see them, look inside, because they will, if they're used, have tea stains. Um, and then also they will have staining throughout the spout, which can make them less valuable. Um, and also, because people use them to actually drink out of, like it's not, some people just display them, which is fine, but then some people will use them and they can't really use them if they're like really dirty. Oh, there could be a wad of cash in there. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't in here. Um, oh. I'll chuck this up for like 40 maybe and see what happens. I paid five for it. I just really liked um, the dainty little florals on it. And yeah, the shape is really pretty. So. Uh, okay, last stuff is some clothes. I'll quickly go through these. Zara, a little blouse for myself. Love it. Love it. That's oh, cute. Has a blouse. And even if I don't like it, I can just sell it. I pay five dollars yeah. for it. Uh, this was in like a lot of stuff. Um, I think it was the first guy to sell. It's a little revival skirt. Size 10. I did just see there was a tiny mark on it. I'll see, oh. if, I, I see if I can get it out, but if not, maybe like 20 bucks, 20 something. It's yeah, always when you get home that you see the mark. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Victoria Woods. Victoria and Woods. This was the first time I've heard yeah. of this. So make sure you're looking out for this brand. It's a very, very uh, high-end brand. Victoria V-I-K. Yeah, it's quite popular at the moment. It's sort of boutique-y and people, like younger people, really like it. Uh, this one is not, like some of them have amazing dresses and things like that, but this is just like a little basic, but I was happy to still pay $4 for it. Four bucks. Yeah, and, it's, and they have like that sizing where it goes from like one to four, I think, so. Like Ted Baker. Yeah, and um, Zimmerman yeah. and things like that. So little crop, um, I don't know, maybe like 30 something on that. Um, oh, I haven't really comped it, but I think I'll probably get to get that for a brand like a Barbie. I'm looking out for it now. Yeah, you did find one, but it was, it was $18, <laughs> so I put it back. <laughs> uh, Joseph Ribkoff, uh, American brand again, I think it is. There's a little, yeah. And that's just a little basic. We were sort of getting desperate. We were like, oh, quick, <laughs> buy something. Um, I did pay $5 for this, but I still think I can get like 30 bucks for it. It's weird because I just, I don't like, these are really not my taste at all and I really don't think they even, I appreciate a lot of stuff, like even if you're like, eh, you know, it's not my kind of thing, but this, I was like, eh. <laughs> I don't know, sorry for that, <laughs> Joseph Rubkoff, and I got some RMs. <laughs> we didn't get any RMs, It's the older tag, but it was $4. It says mm -hmm. as is, but we couldn't find any Yeah, we can't it, find a fault. So. I was like, what am I going to get for this? I don't even have to comp on, on eBay because I just it's asked. 45. Yeah, it's at the 14 50. as well, so it's like yeah. a larger size. Yeah. Paid four, well. so 45, yeah. Aww, no. yeah. Kara's getting into the arms. <laughs> I don't know why, because I'm just like competing against you. We don't have that stuff. <laughs> it was kind of a rough day for sourcing. Yeah, um, yeah. We were out, do you think we were sourcing for probably like four hours? At least. Yeah, five. Um, like yeah. eight. Yeah, um, we did stop with lunch we had and some stuff, lunch. but I think we were probably sourcing for a pretty solid four hours across garage sales and op shops, yeah. and it was a bit rough, and sometimes you start picking up things you yeah. probably normally wouldn't pick up, but it's still a fun time, and we still got some good stuff. I think so. we were reasonably good, but... Yeah, I think we, we think that we did not very well, because we're used to picking up a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's not all home runs, no, every time. Not like the amount of stuff that we usually yep. get when we do like a really, you guys do big sourcing days all the time on Saturdays, but generally like I go out bits at a time um, and 
yeah, you hope that when you do such a big sourcing day that you can find lots of stuff because yeah. you are taking up a ma <laughs> massive amount of time. But still, you know, you're, you're going to like make a couple hundred dollars. Mm. So, yeah. 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 Do it in good company. And we did, um, <laughs> we did go out last night and got a heap of stuff from Savers. And we, we did. did find a bingo item. <gasps> so oh. I'll insert the clip of us finding the bingo item here. Nice. So that's one bingo for us. All right. Uh, Got our bingo. first bingo item, that's Dragon Jeans. And they're Kevlar lined. They're expensive, they're $29.99, but we have 20% off, so... Found a ages. Bingo! 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 Hop over to Rob, the Aussie VHS thrifter, to check out all the bingo items that we are looking for. Yeah. There's some tough ones in there. I don't think we're going to get them all. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to get bingo. <laughs> but we're going to try. Find all the same and it gets yeah. you looking for different things. So. Yeah. yeah, gets you in different sections. Your eyes open and stuff. A lot of people would stay in their lane and you shouldn't. So don't stay in your lane. <laughs> yeah, get out of that lane. <laughs> cool. Definitely. Alright guys, thanks for coming along today. I um, hope you enjoyed the garage sale footage from the uh, GoPro. Leave us a comment below if you saw anything that we missed along the way. Um, <laughs> Probably so that we can feel down about it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time on Tozzy Thrifters. Bye! Yeah.